In a genre saturated with bloodthirsty monsters and malevolent spirits, it's easy to categorize the horror villain as the quintessential bad guy. However, some of the most notorious horror villains aren't so much evil as they are victims of circumstance and a tragic backstory. Stephen King's renowned novel, Carrie, introduces us to a character who embodies the very essence of a victim molded by her environment. Carrie White, a young girl trapped under the oppressive regime of an overly zealous and abusive mother, emerges as a heart-trending figure. Yes, she unchains an apocalypse on her town, causing a blood-curdling havoc. However, it begs the question, is she the real villain of this tale? Or are the real villains those who unceasingly mocked and tormented her, provoking her to the edge? Not all horror villains unleash years of torment on innocent bystanders. Here are five female villains who are justified that you may not have, or probably, heard of. Tamara Riley. Before there was Jennifer's body, there was Tamara. Tamara Riley, the embodiment of isolation, alienation, and the intense yearning for acceptance. The protagonist of this movie, Tamara, she's a character that hits close to home for many viewers who have experienced the harsh realities of high school life. Often dismissed by her peers and ignored by those in authority, Tamara represents the quintessential high school outsider. The journey of Tamara Riley takes an unexpected twist, transforming her from a reserved outcast to a commanding villain. This dramatic shift is initiated by an unforeseen event, her untimely death. Rising from the ashes of her previous life, Tamara harnesses the supernatural abilities to allow her to serve justice to her perpetrators. This evolution of her character not only physically morphs her into an intimidating figure, but it also triggers an intense shift in her mental and emotional state. This metamorphosis witnesses her shy and demure persona give way to a fierce and ominous demeanor that instills fear in those who wronged her. This overhaul of her identity is a testament to the strength and resilience that lay dormant within her, ultimately fueling her transition from a victim to an avenger. You look a little pale. Is something wrong? Easy to blame a kid. Who are you? Playtime is over. Now it's time to wake up. Allie Stark. In the cinematic world, villains are often painted with broad strokes of black, unequivocally evil, and ever ever here. Allie Stark. In the cinematic world, villains are often painted with broad strokes of black, unequivocally evil and abhorrent. However, in the psychological thriller Hard Candy, we encounter a unique type of villain in the form of Hallie Stark. Stark, portrayed expertly by Elliot Page, is as much a puzzle as she is a threat, her motivations and actions sparking intense debate amongst viewers. On the surface, Hallie may appear as nothing more than a naive young girl, charming in her innocence. Yet, this is precisely the image she cultivates to ensnare her quarry, Jeff Colbert. That is so good. Do you, do you want some? Sure. <laughs> mm. Her calculated orchestration of events unfolds meticulously, drawing Jeff into her web under the illusion of an easy conquest. However, this prey is far from helpless. Hallie's disarming innocence swiftly transforms into a sinister predator once she has her mark. 
corner. This unsettling transformation underscores her uncanny ability to manipulate and control, turning her perceived vulnerability into a potent weapon. A burning sense of righteousness fuels Hallie's actions as she takes it upon herself to punish Jeff, a man suspected of being a pedophile. Her mission is clear. Seek justice for his supposed victims. It's this firm resolution that makes her relentless in her pursuit, resorting to mental and physical torture that underscores her determination. However, the extreme measures she employs to execute her self-imposed mandate are unsettling, raising moral questions. Is it justice that she serves? Or has she succumbed to the darker path of vengeance? Mary Mason The world of film thrives on the dynamic play between protagonist and antagonist. However, the character of Mary Mason from the cult horror movie American Mary threads a gray line between the two. Her story begins as a relatable one. A medical student overwhelmed by mounting bills who we can't help but empathize with. However, as we venture deeper into Mary's world, her transformation leaves us reeling. Mary's story takes a shocking twist when a traumatic event propels her on a path of revenge, turning her from a struggling medical student to a cold and calculated figure in the underground surgical scene. You could call me a monster, but whoever said surgeons can't be a little creative. Her motivations evolve, becoming a tangled web of financial desperation, personal vengeance, and a growing infatuation with the darker art of body modifications. It's fascinating to observe how these motivations interplay, pulling her deeper into moral ambiguity. The pursuit of revenge blurs her ethical boundaries while her fascination with her grim work takes precedence over the sanctity of medicine, steering her away from her original path. The impact of her actions extend beyond her unsuspecting clients. They set in motion a series of events that eventually lead to her downfall, as Mary finds herself ensnared in a web of her own making, ensnared by the consequences of her actions. Sandy, played by Anna Taylor-Joy in The Last Night of Soho. Sandy is a glamorous and talented singer waltzing her way through 1960s London. However, beneath the twinkling surface of Sandy's seemingly desirable existence, a heart-wrenching narrative slowly unfolds, shattering her illusions of glamour and thrusting her into a world marked by brutality and manipulation. Sandy's journey into darkness provides crucial insight into her villainous persona. It begins with her innocent aspirations of singing stardom, which are brutally crushed when she's manipulated by Jack into a life of sexual exploitation. Maybe we could uh, go for some drinks, Sandy. Eh? Just us. I'm with Jack. Oh, Jack doesn't mind, do you, Jack? Not one bit. This dreadful twist of faith launches her into a bleak world of despair and rage, setting her on a path that transforms her from an inspiring starlet into a figure of terror. Sandy's decline isn't merely about physical horror. The psychological torment she endures significantly deepens her character, accentuating her complexity and making her all the more captivating. Sandy's actions, while undeniably heinous, are underpined by motivations that are tragically human, making it challenging to simply label her as a villain. Her survival instincts push her to the edge, turning her into a killer, yet her story elicits a palpable sense of empathy. As viewers, we are drawn into the complexities of her character, moved by the harsh reality that molds her.
Melissa Gillespie. Silent Hill, a psychological horror film based on a popular video game, boasts a rich tapestry of complex characters, among which Alessa Gillespie stands out. The character of Alessa is one riddled with mystery, horror, and heartbreak. As the movie's principal antagonist, her character serves as a fascinating exploration of pain, revenge, and dual existence. Born to a mother deeply entrenched in a fanatical cult, Alessa becomes an unwilling participant in a harrowing ritual, believed by her mother to be a necessary purification process. This brutal and life-altering event shapes Alessa's path, transforming her into the tormented spirit we encounter in the film. The fury Alessa harbors is no quiet, simmering anger. It is a visceral, profound wrath born from years of agony that gives life to an entity of terror. This vengeful spirit is Alessa's raw, unfiltered rage given form. It stalks the streets of Silent Hill, bringing nightmares to life and exacting Alessa's revenge on the very people who wronged her. It's an unnerving look into what repressed fury can evolve into when left unchecked. But it's more than that. The spirit's actions, as horrifying as they are, are a quest for justice. They are Alessa's way of righting the wrongs inflicted upon her, of making those who caused her pain pay for their transgressions. It is a chilling testament to the powerful effects of deep-seated anger and the lengths it will go to seek retribution. Other female villains that have been justified by their actions let me know by dropping it in the comments and if you like this list please drop a like on it if you're not subscribed please do so don't worry about the notification bell because we'll be in your subscriptions you can always catch up when you have time as always thank you for tuning in each week we here at Nerdbox truly appreciate the time that you spend with us, and until the next, see ya.